Hi everyone! Today for our writing lesson, we are going to go over two things. First, we are going to go over an opinion writing checklist to help you stay on track when you begin writing your opinion essay. And then we're going to take a look at an example essay. This opinion writing checklist should look very familiar to you. We have used a checklist with both narrative writing and informative writing. And a lot of parts of this checklist are the same as the components that are on the two that we've already used. And a lot of parts of this rubric actually align to our tree graphic organizer and our tree strategy that we've been learning about for opinion writing too. So I'll make those connections as we go through the rubric too. So the first thing that you need to do when you are creating an opinion essay is you need to consider your overall goal. What are you trying to do overall? So overall, at the end of your essay, if you're successful, you made a claim about your topic and you or a text and you tried to support your reasons. If you did that, you've written a successful opinion essay. Then we have some self-assessment criteria here. So as you're going along, you can actually rate yourself and see how you're doing. Did I do it like a fourth grader? So let's see. The first thing you need to do that's not actually in our tree graphic organizer, but that we've been doing all year is you need to create a lead or a hook for your essay. So in the beginning of your essay, you need to write a few sentences to hook your readers, perhaps by asking a question, explaining why the topic matters, telling a surprising fact, or giving background information. This is the same thing that we were doing for informative writing. The only difference is in your lead, in your introduction paragraph, now you also need to state your claim. And that is our T, our topic sentence part of tree. So your first paragraph of your essay, start with a hook and then tell what you believe. Give your topic sentence. Another thing you need to do in your essay is you need to use transition words. So use words and phrases that glue parts of your piece together. Some examples of this are for example, another example, one time, things like that. You should also have an ending for your piece which you restate and reflect on your claims, perhaps suggesting an action or a response based on what I had written. So the end of your essay should go back to the beginning and remind the reader why you believe what you believe. Organization, I separated sections of information using paragraphs. Remember, boys and girls, a paragraph is this. It starts with an indent, and it has one idea about one topic. We also have elaboration. So these are your examples and explanations part of tree. So you give, gave reasons to support your opinion. I chose reasons to convince your readers. So that is actually the R part of tree, reasons. That should make sense to you. It says reasons right there. Reasons part of tree. And then this is your elaboration. I included examples to, and information to support my reasons, perhaps from a text, my knowledge, or my life. Other things that you should do are making interesting word choices. These are the, um, this is the language part of tree, the second L, and adding precise details and facts to make your points clear. So these are kind of all the language parts. I made choices about which evidence was best to include or not include to support my points. So basically this is just kind of thinking about the quality of your writing. And did you use a convincing tone? Is a reader actually going to believe it? Um, finally, this has been in every checklist since our narrative one. You need to take a look at your spelling and punctuation too. Use what you can to help you. Now that we're writing on the computer, this should be easier than ever. You can find out if a word is spelled wrong. I'm going to go ahead and show you something really quickly. If a word is spelled wrong, so I'm going to spell a word wrong here. Um, definitely. It's going to come up with a red squiggly. That tells me that word is spelled wrong. If I right click on it, it comes up with the right spelling here and I can change it, okay? So that's one tool that you can use to help you edit your writing and your spelling. Punctuation, don't forget about periods and commas too. And you can use dictionaries if you need it. All right, that is our rubric. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know. Now we're going to go ahead and take another look at that uniforms essay that our example student Juliana wrote. Um, in this essay, this is edited to include an answer key 
that tells you which parts of the essay are the topic sentence, the reasons, the explanations, the ending, the links, and the language. Okay, so I am not going to read the whole essay. I'm just going to read certain parts. So the topic sentence, what does Juliana believe? Juliana believes that people should wear school uniforms. She has three reasons for supporting school uniforms that she wants to share with you. And she thinks that when it is over, when you think it over carefully, you will agree with her. Okay. Um, for her second paragraph, this essay is very well organized. Each paragraph is only about one topic and it includes one reason per paragraph. If you notice that, there's only one orange per paragraph. It, she also includes an example for her reason. So I love my school uniform because I don't have to think about what to wear in the morning. Then she gives an example of that, her personally. I'm not a morning person, so I hate trying to pick out my clothes. Now I can get up in the morning and I know exactly what to wear. Um, her second reason includes one of those linking words, second. Um, school uniforms has resulted in less bullying. She doesn't just say that and then move on. She explains it. Sometimes students harass other students just because they don't have the latest styles um, because we are wearing school uniforms that just can't happen. So things like that. So she has a lot of reasons, evidence, linking words. All of these blue words are linking words. Um, and let's look at our ending. It is clear to me that requiring school uniforms is the right choice. This tells the reader what her original opinion was. Because it makes life easier for students, stops bullying based on what students are wearing, and saves money. Wow, just like that, she summarized the three reasons in her ending sentence. If you look at that, it goes in order. It makes life easier for students. That's her first reason. Stops bullying based on what students are wearing. That's her second reason. And saves money. That's her third reason. So Juliana's essay is very well organized, and her ending goes right back to her point and summarizes what she said. The final thing to point out is that she uses some rich and exciting language by using words like afford, harass, exactly, major. So basically just try to think of fourth grade level vocabulary words instead of saying things like good, bad, mean. Okay, so that is our example essay. Let the teacher know if you have any questions and just like we're done with another day's writing lesson. Have a great day and thanks for listening.